science has the power to change the world for the better. In our industry, we're lucky that we're sometimes able to translate our science into medicines that can transform the lives of millions of patients. There is nothing more motivating or inspiring, and it's all the more remarkable when you consider how difficult it is to discover any new medicine. It requires exceptional talent, remarkable teamwork, resilient teams, and most importantly, a hunger to learn from our mistakes and to improve what we do every day, every month and every year. From a young age, I've been fascinated by science and as I slowly progressed through my education, I realized that my enjoyment of science could perhaps one day become a career, although I didn't really have any idea where it would take me. During my PhD studies, I was lucky enough to be sponsored by a pharmaceutical company and experience the excitement and challenge of applied science. A science environment where everyone was working towards a common scientific goal, trying to understand disease pathophysiology and then trying to translate this understanding into something that could be applied into the making of a medicine. This experience shaped the trajectory of the rest of my career. I'm so lucky to be where I am today. I feel like I have the best job in the world and have the privilege to work with some of the smartest and brightest scientists in the world. How did I get here? Hard work, definitely quite a bit of luck, taking opportunities when they arose at the right time, not being afraid to fail or succeed, and most importantly, working with the very best people and teams around the world. I've also been lucky to have had some great mentors along the way and worked with people that were brave enough to take risks with me, particularly in the early stages of my career. This is something that I'm very passionate about now, identifying young talent and trying to help nurture and accelerate people's development is one of the most important roles I have to play in our company. Culturing the next generation of scientists and scientific leaders is incredibly important. Of course, high quality science and scientific rigor is central to everything that we do. You must be keen to seek the truth, asking those killer questions of your scientific hypothesis, and you must be comfortable that you'll often find out that your scientific hypothesis is wrong. But importantly, it's these questions and answers that teach us the most and that allow us to evolve and reshape our scientific ideas. Working with diverse teams from both the private and public sectors is also critically important. Science knows no boundaries, and I am passionate about being as open and transparent as possible when it comes to basic research. I've always championed working with the best scientists from around the world, wherever we can, whether they be from academia, non-governmental organizations, or other peer organizations. Pioneering open innovation partnerships where our scientists from the private and public sectors work side by side. Surround yourself with talented people and teams. People that can challenge you, support you and teach you. Working with teams that are diverse, whether they be diverse by geography, gender, ethnicity or sexual orientation. With diverse teams comes diverse and original thinking. I'm so proud of how we've transformed AstraZeneca over the past eight years. And this is because of the incredible people I've been lucky enough to work with. Since 2012, we've increased AstraZeneca's R&D success rates almost fivefold and launched more medicines than ever before across a variety of diseases such as cancer, asthma, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, helping to treat millions of patients. The pace of scientific and pipeline change has been remarkable considering the long cycle times in our industry and even more so considering most in the external scientific and investor community thought the company would never return to growth. The company has gone from being perceived as one of the weakest of the R&D groups in our industry to now being viewed as one of the strongest. I'm incredibly proud and privileged to have played a small part in the transformation of our pipeline and our culture. 
I'm lucky that I have one of the best jobs in the world and I absolutely love my job. I'm truly honoured and privileged to be awarded and recognised with a knighthood by Her Majesty the Queen in the New Year 2020 Honours List. Thank you to my family, my wife, my children, my parents for their support every day of every year. And thank you to all the wonderful people I've had the privilege of working with throughout my career. Thank you all so much.